have the capability to come out with a win against a team like Godson, but they haven't been in top form as of late because their loss in the, a lot to be desired against EG, a, a team that they pulled off three maps against in the past, but this time well, they didn't even 2 0. Anyway, Henny and oh Lot are going to get two, make it three quick frags, and Barton drops Ben Leeds, so. That's a pretty silent pistol round for the party astronauts, unless Jonji gets something, but all he gets is a bit of a tag, and then himself. Last round already, as the SMG has gone straight into the trade, straight into the spot, and Henny trying to make some cash here early. That's been robust, but still, it's just pistol on the other side. This is going to get interesting. Pwn alone from on top of many. Drops one. This could get messy. Some jinx coming out to Mal. Put on notice, perhaps, but Lotto popping out at many will help to collect. It's all under just this one, man. It's all under Ben Lee, the leader of this team. And he's going to go Don't think there's an escape here, Ben. And indeed, there is not. But, uh, I mean, in early EPL uh, off of Moby Star Riders, that would be 16 before. Um, unfortunately, they would lose on Inferno 10 to 16 and lose that series. That said, coming back to this one, they can't get anything into this round. 4v1 in favor of Godsent. This was a buy up for the party astronauts, but Barton is just making work of it. Yep. Sorry about that. We're just sorting out a little tech issue. Reminder, it's Dark Mike Productions here, so, you know, anything that's scuffed, it's my fault. Uh, Forward it to our complaints department. Should I give them the complaints department address as Taco takes that final? That's the question. Tiny could be everything here. And currently, watching, there's the flash in to check, see if they rustled him up. And here comes the clear. Henny and Doomhouse strike at the same time. The crisis. They've avoided all damage themselves and dealt it out. Oh. And Henny. Playing the gap of that smoke, playing the edge of it is going to come out for more. So they have to shut down party astronauts in this gun round. There's nothing doing here, John. They don't even really get a chance to shoot back. They haven't done any damage to this point. And they're basically done with the round. Is this a save? This is a save. Yep. Oof. Are they on full loss? They are on full loss bonus. Okay. Well, I guess I mean, keeping the, the op. Yeah. Yeah. The op is still worth it. The AK armor plus utility, they're both worth it. Yeah, true. Okay, well, five to nothing for Godsent, and not really much of a peep out of the party astronauts so far. I mean, it's always if you follow statistical modeling. It's gonna be pressure in towards the ramp room as the party astronauts try and collapse on towards the site. While damage has been dealt, they haven't really felt the death blows just yet. Back to EJ. We'll find one of those death blows, one of those all important killing shots. John G is likely a dead man. John G is likely a dead man. Oh no. <gasps> Oh, he gave the audio cue. The timing! John oh. G was about to get away with it. Now finds a perfect moment to strike. And now, with body starting to drop towards lower sight, no easy path towards a bomb plant either. They're going to have to battle this. And this player survives. doesn't even need to open the door. But he will eventually to find his second kill of the round. Lotto has had a kill. But, because uh, he certainly Slowing down uh -oh. here early on. Oh, Bart will be out of play. Lotto flashes. My goodness, it's messy on the site. Lotto is down, but it's still an advantage found. And up in the rafters, it's this man, Taco. The leader of the squad will find his second. And his third as well. It's weird because it feels like they're unwilling to kind of take their time into these rounds. And Pone does get a headshot on to Dumato. Open things up, but Henny's right there for the trade. So not really any ground gain for the party astronauts. You have Ben Leet on top of Marshmallow here, and uh, well, Henny's going to be watching there as well, so it's an interesting engagement here to see how this one plays out. If Henny goes down, at least it opens up some space, but Godsent are back on that double op as they like to play here on CT side of Nuke. Flashbang going to get tossed on forward here. And still... No further advance advancement made by the party astronauts. They really are being held at bay in the underground by any, but that's right. a wicked shot around the edge of the smoke by DJ. Lato goes down. And that will at least give the party astronauts a man advantage for, I think, the first time in nine rounds. Certainly in a long time. He's out. DJ's out past the uh, past the door. A little bit of an event stand. Up. Ah, I just found the crack in the smoke and Jonesy wandering outside. He's taken down. So we're here for a moment. So might be a chance towards the site. Oh, wants to come through, but he's going to miss his shot, and now he's exposed. It's all falling apart here. 
There we go. Penny has gotten himself a right away. But his spam will be distracted from DJ. Ironically, DJ just drawing those bullets towards him might have helped them out in the round. Now a tough situation. And DJ's going around on the front to try and seal the deal on this one. Don't even know that this is necessary. The money's so good for Godson that you do imagine they're going to go for this. But no, Penny is going to start to slip away. And a shot to the back of the dome will put him down and confirm the first round. What's this Lotto get? One for free. No one behind to trade. Shanji now hesitant. They're going to come through, but Lotto lays down the law. So advantage for Godson. Just play on top of the blue box. Oh, Ben Lee backs away. If he'd wandered into it, that could just feel very, very dangerous. Lotto's continuing his pace. Actually, he has slowed. He's only got 13 kills through 10 rounds now. Slowed way down. Yeah, he's only closer to one. Right for round. Dude, Mal's <laughs> caught up, though. 11 yeah. of his own. Potential for more in this one. Mm -hmm. Young guns, man. Young guns. They're incredible. Still, talk is having a pretty good game so far as well, at least when he's been challenged, you know. Mm -hmm. He connects on a little bit of damage towards Viz. Party Astronauts making a ton of noise. Thunder floating here into the B site. Dumal gets one before DJ trades him, but taco has got a great spot. He spots at the barrel as well of the last remaining player, and he gets the 2K on the round. It's the same veto, right? New game. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good kill for Dumal. But, because he realized the second player's in, perhaps not. DJ gets two as a result. And though he knows there's a potential player flanking from Mini, they can maybe get towards the site, and instead they're going to drop then. Now Dumal has to readjust, but this bomb is going down. There ain't nothing he can do about that. Let's see if DJ can keep him off of the free take as well. No, Dumal too snappy for him. God, he's so quick. He's so quick, John. Oh, and now it's falling no. apart. It's all into John G now. I've been a hero for this team in the past, but Dumal will outduel him here. No problem. I think so, but there are players lurking around. Into the site and talk. One of them's Taco. Actually, he was all the way towards outer yard, and he takes down Johnji. By the way, Mike, they did actually go for the double op setup earlier on in this half, but they just moved away from it. It seems. Um, but it is going to be a four v three now. Party astronauts trying to hang on to the site. They're being a little more patient this time. Posting up, waiting for the fights to come to them. But even though they do, Taco finds two more. Four on the round, looking for the ace, but it's too Mao to get the last one. He doesn't care about the ace, of course. They just want to get the round victory. And now that lead builds even further into double digits, 11 to 1. Here to potentially punish someone on the rotate. This kill, and they get there we go. It. Huge one to find. That's going to force the rotations to come through, and that puts them in a really high-pressure scenario for Godsend. Oh, that got oh, awkward. Wow. And suddenly we're back to even Stevens. John G's position now needs to go huge. This is where you need this to deliver. He's worked his way all the way in, and he does find any move. I thought was even looking the right direction. Either way, that's the kill they needed. That's the impact they needed from that lurk. And here it goes. Oh, no. Shot. Barton. Oh, no. My God. Barton. Three kills. Taps on through Three this. Headshot. So. All right, 12 to 1 in favor of Godsend. And there's the opener again from Ben. And two great opening frags from Ben in that previous round. And it's just all or not. It's just so frustrating to watch as Lato is going to get the shot through the smoke and make it a 4v4. I mean, that one as well is one of those situations where usually, usually, folks, in a 1v3. Hold on. They're going to come in. Taco's going to get two. Looks for the third as well. Can't quite find that, but he's put DJ on an island. And DJ's trying desperately to swim to shore. Okay, so we have a moment. The thing is, oh God, we don't have a moment. There are no moments. This is such a fast game. Usually, in a 1v3, the other team has to make serious mistakes for the clutch player to be able to pull it off. Yeah. That time, it didn't even feel like Party Astronauts really made any mistakes. Barton was just absurd. Well, I mean, the mistake is not getting the trade on. Yes, no, no, I mean. the Party Astronauts were going to perform. We've seen Godsend, obviously, and we knew they were deadly right now. And well, it doesn't seem like the answer is very favorable for PA right now. Oh, this Not is yet. an interesting spot for John G, but his teammates are all dying, so they better get something out of it quick. Tone alone's gotten an upgrade delivered right to him. John G's trying to wait out the smoke, but in the meantime, they lose Ben. So this play may have just taken too long to develop, and at this point, God sent our wary to it. I can't believe the half's about to end. <laughs> it's been so quick, Mike. But yeah, it is. It's a, they're getting absolutely bludgeoned nice out of this. 
Fast play in. They're straight in towards lower. And this could be a bomb plant already pushed on out. Ben Leach shot on down. It's a catastrophe. It's not looking good at all. That ball has been planted. Never mind. Taco pulls off of it to go get the oh. kill. Well, John, uh, how do you feel about uh, about Ancient? <laughs> we're already there, aren't we? Yeah. Well, we're there. Um, <laughs> We've been there, but we're more there now. Here, here's the problem, like in my opinion, one of the win conditions for the party astronauts was winning on Nuke. Well, they're not going to do that. That's no, it's clearly not happening. And oh, wait. Sent... Okay, wait. Unless nope. no. Um, <laughs> party God. Oh, this All right, is Ben. Something. All right, this Ben. Three K with a five seven. Here we go, Ben. Four seven eight. Five <laughs> seven four K. Kill them all. Use that OP pistol. Maui Snake is smiling. Sure, it cannot be underestimated with these pistols. Party astronauts still have to be very wary and careful. Oh, they're starting to close the distance. Well, ben again to do some serious damage, but he gets flanked out. Oh, that was a rough spray from DJ. Donji at least keeps the numbers in whack, but it is a 2v3. If a bomb could, plant could go down, frankly, it's not a bad situation. No. For God's sake. The problem is they're surrounded. There's Never not going to be any easy spot to put this bomb in. <sighs> Two men out trying to avoid dying. Obviously, the spam could be enough to take him out of play, but Donji was low. And now that bomb's down, and now this is a whole different situation. Two on two. Bomb ticking away. There are not kits for Viz and Pone alone. I don't know if one's down. And the drop in goes. Oh, what a play from Taco. What a play. He's already out the smoke. They don't know. And Taco puts no it way. all to rest. Does it himself. 16 and 5 is Taco's scoreline, but 16 and 2 is the round total for Gontron for the party. Astronauts over towards A. That nade could be chunky. It's not. But it could have been in a different world. Barton is going to get the opening pick here, and it's not looking good already for the party astronauts. That bomb's going to make its way to going down. There is a potential flank developing towards Donut, but Pone Alone will have to go a long way to do it, and they're already set up for it, and his teammates are all dead. They're all I dead. I want to celebrate, but you're like, this is not good. There you go. See? Second, third. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. right. Farm up some money early. Might be a pistol for the next round. Here's their opening people. I mean, it's like, I don't know. Like, yeah, it can be good sometimes, but it's not. Ben Lee, though, okay. gets a couple kills there. There we go. He's feeling si spicy. He's feeling zesty. He's got a little bit of extra flavor in his porridge. And now this is a pretty good setup, right? You got the peek in from window. You got so much information off of this. So much comfort that can come through. And Godson have come back into this hit, but I'm not quite sure why. Since they lost two here and have not seen anything, they want this fight, they want this smoke, and well, the smoke will work out, but the trade is there, and it's all on to Henny, and Henny is down. So now we just have Barton coming in with nothing to operate on, no information, and we'll see if he can't do some damage. Economic damage would be nice. If he somehow sneaks a bomb plant, that would be daylight robbery. He has an opening right now. Yeah, kind of. I don't think he'd be able to get it down. I think if he starts to stick, he will not be long for this world. That kill makes it a bit more possible. Problem is they've already wrapped around in a B main. He's going to be a dead no, man. No, he's dead. Yeah. Maybe the smoke thrown for ramp would have been better in that case. But either way, John is going to close that. Spicy. Yeah, Carpe Diem perhaps taking AG to, uh, to school on that one. Very <laughs> spicy indeed. Oh, going along with a shot. Looking good for Party Astronauts again as this CT defense is starting to settle in. Good utility usage sets up Pone Alone for another, and he's just going to stick around. He's feeling comfortable here out in the fray. He's got support. He's just taking shot after shot and shocking up kill after kill in the barrel of his gun. So, Godsend going to try and maintain some positioning here towards A. If they boost up, I mean, he's a player just here, right? As soon as Lato spotted, I don't think he's long for this world, but he's prepared. Prepare for Johnji to be on the edge of smoke. Trade's still there. But 
uh, Henny trying to make some noise, trying to at least keep some casualties going. He will do From so. The grave. He'll make it setting up the exact same way as he did in the previous round, and here they come. Benley's waiting on the other end this time, though, and he drops two reloads and finds the third onto Barton. John just supporting from Snake and DJ as well. A quick end. To backstab, presumably, but without that, Curry backs away. Phone alone. One pressure on. Cleared out. Now Phone alone in a really tricky spot. He does have some support on site, but if he smokes down, there's no vision. Good utility usage. Better kills from Godsent. Now they've got an advantage and a window with which to plant. Bomb down at this point. Frankly, this might already be a save. They agree with me. I think Ben's just, yeah, he's just praying that he'll connect on something to the smoke. Godson's going to have this for free. Ooh, there's the tap. John G wanted to come peek out, but of course they were ready for that. Now the donut player going in. The slim possibility. Party Astronauts getting a little slimmer, but here's the thing. Henny was lost bottom mid. Huge DJ gets another. He's whittling down the numbers. Lost Pone alone, though, and that bomb will go down. Do they want to risk these M4s? Do they want to fight? And if they get this kill donut, I think they do, but without it given, with it robbing them, that's pressure on. And now there's a crossfire as well. A second player here, but DJ doesn't care. He's just killing everyone. It's all on the Ben Leet now. And a 1v2. A tricky clutch to play off of. The op to peer around as he tries to get the fight with the player behind. And that's going to be the shot missed. Barton's giving him an opportunity. This is very winnable. Smoke can go out. That's actually a flash. Sorry. And here's the tap to try and bait the peak to come on through. But without a kit, Ben needs this kill. And he wants it. And Barton cool. will. Got a 4K on new. Ah, that's a lot less good. <laughs> that's uh, It's not quite a 4K. Need to close the distance with that 5.7. Tip, tip, tapping away. Still, the bomb hasn't been planted yet. No, everyone's here for party astronauts. That's attack, not a kill. And, uh-oh. It's swinging back the other way. Godsend have lost their lurker. They've lost their presence. Now the overwhelm. The slam on in from the pistols. It's a 1v2. And the recovery come in here for Barton. Another clutch on deck for him. Another clutch required of him. Doesn't know where TJ is, but he certainly does know Viz's spot. 30 seconds. He can't really bail out of this. If he did, it would have to be a very swift rotation. It seems like that's what he's going to try and do. Fight back. <laughs> DJ doesn't read it. He could just leave to B. He's not going to, though. He's going to stick with what he knows. 15 seconds. Maybe he didn't have time for it even. I'm not sure. Oh, my what? goodness. Barton pulls it off again. Ace. An ace. Slow. Push. No. What? They're going to go through it. And DJ has dismantled it. First, you don't succeed. Try, try, and try again. And this time, it's actually worked out pretty dang well. <laughs> I think they just delayed it a little bit and then pushed out. Yeah. Faze gets one. That drops the bomb. That's the round. That's the round. 20 seconds. There's just not enough time to pull this off. And now Henny's position is known. They realize what was going on. They punish it. Spam on through. 1v3 for Dumal with no health. And he's down for the count. Or red room. So that opens up the space for Godson to pick up. They're not going to. Is they're going to try to charge in towards this A site. Barton's already standing on it. And Viz gets caught off guard. He charges right into the catacombs and finds Pone alone through the smoke. Jonji goes down as well as Dumal peeks around the corner into Donut. And it's a quick 5v2 in favor of Godsent in full control. And to boot. The two party astronauts players are isolated on each side. Ben taking down one for one and party astronauts uh, no control. Just the one man, DJ, and Godsend have spread themselves across the map. His footsteps are heard, so it is uh, unlikely that DJ is going to be able to survive this one. Pardon's been brought in to go for the pinch. They're looking for him. And dead. And dead. There you go. Let's see. Party astronauts. Find the gumption to close this gap. Here on their T side. Here they come rocking on out in towards the A side. Dumao hiding behind the box. Check support as well. There's two players here. They're ready for the fight. Dumao is down for the count, but Barton. Barton's making his presence known. They haven't been able to dig him out just yet, but they do. They do. Even exchanges so far. That bomb not down, though. And look at this play through mid. Look at this play through mid for Pone alone. This could get spicy. He's in the red room. And Lato's holding for him. What a read from young Lato. Who shuts that down and takes the biggest threat out of the ground. DJ now even dreams of just a bomb plant out of this one. 
as it would take some nifty pistol shoots and he will be shot down. Great round from Lotto. Great read from Lotto. I'm Please. sure he'll appreciate that. Barton fan club <laughs> is strong. Oh. Spray down here from Barton. Ah, he only did get one instead of Dumao and Lotto right now. Making the noise. Dumao. Get himself some about Mula. Cash money with that MP9, and this buy from Party Astronauts has just been completely shut down. That is some disrespect coming through from God Sent. They just full pushed. And, and, yeah, I think this has to be the gun round with a crack too, otherwise, I think we're just probably done here. Yep. It's about time to pack it on up. So let's see if they've got that magic. Let's see if they've got that spice. Let's see if they've got that momentum. Jaji flying through a smoke is dead. He smoked. <laughs> And it's all falling apart. The Molly spreads, takes out DJ. It's not looking good. A double man advantage now for God's sense. They haven't really been pressed just yet, but Pone alone has something else in mind. Around audio cues giving up Pone alone with more tags. Damage done to Mao Lucky to limp away from that one. Up one HP. This could be catastrophic. This could be rough. Ben Lee trying to chase. Ben Lee feeling the fire. Feeling the fury. But the reinforcements now coming in towards the red room. Tacos down, but the trade is there, and the trade is good for the CT side. I'll try and work their way through B main. And towards Jaguar, and towards the B side. Yox posted up, and Henny gets two cracks Ooh. at this, but he can't get it when he goes back for a bite at the apple. Dumao has no health. There's no way Dumao can go on this point until he knows the plant's down. It's going to float around. One bullet will do it. Oh, even thinking about a bullet might just put him in the ground. Comes the slip around. There's time to play with here. Fizz trying to pull off this 1v2. Barton is the major threat. Dumal potentially just a bait. As he peeks the corner, Barton is, of course, posted and he's going. Yeah, uh, party astronauts just unable to match the firepower that has come their way throughout the entire series. And he's just going to drop John G and DJ as they try to challenge. And, well, one from Viz, but that is pretty much it for the round. Dude, Mao gets two and lots of the last one. Party Astronaut. Yeah, utility setting in that, that panic. But they're going to try and go fast again in towards B. They're taking this space. They're taking this momentum. They're not expecting any touch towards the cubby. He's down, but Taco's still here. And the threat is on, and the flank is on. It has well pressure from the cave. That bomb is planted. But they need someone to step up, and it won't be pulling alone. Two players remain. Two players remain. Just Viz and DJ to try and hold on to this game. Crossfire, perhaps. But still so many targets to chew through. Jack Taco oh, tagged down. Viz going to come out for the finishing blow, but now they know where both are. Viz, though, delivering. DJ playing off of him, and this has worked out. These two men on all sight right. have done enough. They found it all. Barton, he's been heroic, but he's just run out of time, and he has to try and get away, and he won't be allowed to do that. Well, never mind. He'll make it happen. Oh, at least party astronauts managed to squeeze around out of that, unfortunately. Trying to create a diversion towards the B site. I've kept three players from Godsend on there. That's a great opener from John G. Barton is down, and the only player nearby is the one over in Donut, but the one of the other frags actually came through on that B site as Ben Lee was trying to push on forward. That said, John G with the big green does drop his second of the round, and that's one player that party astronauts would be happy to see start clicking. Aren't you making it happen here? The spot just went in for DJ. He's been seen. Oh, oh I, okay. All right, the camera baited me there. I thought DJ got that kill somehow. <laughs> I baited. Dumao has it. And at this point, it seems like Godsend aren't actually eager to go for this fight. They're going for the save. They're playing the long game. They might try and keep Party Astronauts hemmed in towards the bomb and see if they can't take them out with the explosion. And considering the fact the players are quite low, uh, it seemed like that might happen. Viz, I'm going to guess, is the only survivor here. Must have gone through a lot of bricks because it was a ding. That's going to be a little bit disappointing. But let's see if Ben collected. Do Mal playing on the edge of the smoke, playing on it effectively. Viz trying to punish this. Will eventually be able to do so as Do Mal maybe overstayed his welcome there in towards mid. Really sticking around a long time. Here's the flank though. This is spicy. Viz prepared for it, but doesn't have the shot. Big kill to find for Taco. That's going to keep them hemmed in. That's going to keep them off the A site. Well, and, well, Pone alone may not care if they're off the A site. He just kills everyone on B. This should secure a bomb plant. Mm, Lato's, though, a very dangerous player right now. Yeah. In cave. This could be huge. They're going to go oh. in to clear him, and that's a massive one to find. 
And Godsend once again. Back foot here. Oh, they have that foot chopped off. It's all onto Taco, who's presumably just going to save. Catastrophe. So, Godsend right at the precipice of taking this series, but struggling to put party astronauts away. Okay, Taco's dead. Oh, no. Okay, Taco's not dead. John G having a rough game with some of these sprays. That's uh, unfortunate. But Taco lives. From uh, the bomb carrier here, Viz. Viz being the entry as well with the bomb is a little risky. I think you realize to say, hey, yo. I got the bomb on my back. Might not want to be the one peeking here and drops it for Ben who peeks with the bomb instead. Okay. Well, Ben's going to walk into a bit of a trap here. And he goes down. There's the bomb on the ground. And now God sent. Just have to hold on to it. It's a tall order considering all they have are pistols. And Henny does get John G. And the second on DJ. That was actually in Donut. The bomb was recovered by the party astronauts, so they're able to move right on forward into the A site. Dumal. They don't expect him here. He's so scary with this Beagle, too. They've overlooked it. They've completely oh. overlooked it. There's one. The second as well. Dumal will put it away. The double dig to finish things off. And that is Dumal taking the dub as God sent move on. They got knocked down into this lower bracket, but they were more than ready. They were more than prepared, and they did yeah. mantle party astronauts across two maps. I mean, that one didn't look.